All right, my friends. Hope you're having a wonderful, awesome day. Today, uh, I picked up uh, something really cool. <laughs> Crazy. Let's, uh, let's get to it. Okay, uh, I got this bad boy off of the uh, World Wide Web. And uh, I get, let me, I get absolutely nothing from this company. This company didn't reach out, they didn't send me anything. I get nothing. Saw this, said, I gotta check it out. And that's, that's what, that's what we're doing. It is um, the Pine Meadow Wedge. Brand spanking new right here, okay? I think, I'll leave a link if you're interested in this. Uh, I believe on Amazon, I'm, I think I paid $24 or something. So pretty cheap. And uh, my expectations are that uh, the performance will uh, uh, reflect the price I pay, right? You get what you pay for. But I went with the most lofted one that they offer because I figured that would be the most exciting. So this, this homeboy is a uh, 68 degree wedge, 68. Now, look at that. That's probably square right there. So that would be the, uh, the angle. But there's something cool about this. Here's the, uh, let's see here, here's it square up against a, a golf ball. So you can kind of get an idea of the type of, uh, of loft that would look like. Pretty crazy in my opinion. But here's what I was interested in. Now on their website, they say it's uh, five degrees of bounce. So the bounce angle on a club when you set up square is the degree in which the, uh, the sole comes below the leading edge of the club. So something that's easier to see. Here's my Titleist Vokey old SM7. This is a 60 degree four degrees of bounce, okay? So you can see here that the setting up square, the bounce comes below this plate, the sole here, comes below the leading edge, makes a little V, right? So this degree of which it goes down is the bounce. Now, if you look at this, the website says that it's like five, but if you look, setting up square, I mean, there's nothing there. There's, it just goes up. So literally, like you can set that guy down on the ground. I mean, it's you could lay that to 90 degrees. And uh, dude, I mean, I might be able to hit the ball backwards. We're going to check it out. Here, for comparison, laying them flat on the ground. And you could really see how much higher up off the ground the SM7 is versus Pimetto. So my SM7 is four degrees of bounce and that Pimetto, I mean, it says five, but it looks like zero or <laughs> like there's nothing there. It's at least half way closer to the table, the, the surface of the table than the Vokey. So I'm thinking the bounce is two or less. So that would be cool to check this out because, okay, a couple things I want to know is uh, how far can I hit it, okay? How far does it go? And how high can I hit it? What's it like out of the trap? And do you need something like this? Do you need something like this in your bag? Maybe it's just a gimmick. Maybe it's something you could have some fun with, impress your friends. Uh, I don't know. But uh, I figured why not let's check it out and see what it does actually, how it actually performs on the golf course. 68, the most I've ever played was 64. Don't have that in my bag uh, because I just don't, you know, I don't have a, a real need for it. I, could, I, I like to open the face up. Well, now I can open it up to like 90. <laughs> let's go, let's go check it out. All right, this thing's uh, also known as the, the last wedge. Thank goodness, <laughs> played a lot of wedges. Look at this thing. I mean, it's like playing with a spatula. Look at that. 
I mean, that's crazy. All right, so um, we're gonna get the shots uh, out of the rough. We're gonna go over the trap, just on the green. We'll see what happens, and then uh, we'll go out of the trap. We'll do some stuff around the green, and then I'll I'll take it out, and we'll see what kind of distance we get out of it. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, for starters, I'm just gonna go um, square setup. I'm not gonna open it up. Just whatever square it is. Uh, I didn't go it didn't go very high, but it got a lot of bit bite on that. It's like, uh. I like that because typically what I do is I I kind of really get a lot of face under the ball, and I hit it a lot higher on the face. Gets a, keeps it lower and gets a lot more spin. If you could do that shot. Um, Oh, whatever. That thing is, I don't know how it spins so much. Uh, it's got so much of the faces going under that. You're getting a lot of club head speed and the ball just going nowhere. Okay, I'm gonna open it up a little bit and see how high we can go. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Dude, I mean, uh, that thing's pretty cool. Okay, uh, I was—I thought I'd go right underneath the ball in this lie. Uh, that wasn't bad. Um, all right, let's go a little close. Well, let's go in the trap. Let's see what happens out of there. Okay, we'll do a few just uh, square face. I'm not sure how this is gonna go because there's no bounce on that thing. Uh, so you might need to be a pretty good bunker player to pull this off. I don't know. Um, so I'll just go square and then I'll open it up a few. Yeah, so square is gonna mess you up uh, if you set up square, it's especially in, let's say, a fluffy sand. This is kind of wet sand, so you could do a little better here. Now I'm just gonna open it up um, and see if that, because you get too steep, it just goes, digs in the sand, so. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's, I don't think it's designed for bunker play. You're gonna need to be a really good bunker player to use this out of the sand. But, um, so if you're a good bunker player, you could do it. And if you short side yourself, you could get it close. I could see that. Um, let's say, let's say the box is my hole. Like, and that would never happen, but let's say it is, right? You totally, let's even get in that box. <laughs> just right over it first try so you can if you short side yourself and you're a good bunker player that could pay off for you I mean that's that's pretty good all right um let's put it here let's see what kind of real like flop shot we can get on that tight one okay so we've got uh, rough here let's say our hole is just right right there okay that's where we're going um, and there's a uh, water hazard here, I don't know, whatever, uh, something. I'm gonna open that face. Yeah, that's gonna be tricky. Okay, I mean, it goes high, whatever. <laughs> right under that thing, that's easy to do. Okay, let's square it up. We're just going square, square deal. Okay, pretty good. Not bad. How's it out of here?
it's actually not bad uh, for the short shots. Here's, here's the thing though, you're gonna need to be a really good player to pull this sucker off. I mean, there's, there's no soul, there's no bounce. It's the thinnest thing ever. I mean, could you, how far can we use it from? Man, I feel like I would take the biggest divot on earth too, like it would be like this long. We'll find out here in a second. How long, how long do you think that dang divot's gonna be? Superintendent's gonna come after me. <laughs> okay, typically my 60 goes 75 yards, so that's where we're going to uh, begin today. At 75 to the flag. I got my fill handy, because my expectation is uh, major divot. Um, square face, let's see what, see what happens. Not too bad, that thing went up, but just boom. It's like, like a dart Woo! in the ground. Let's do a couple more. Ooh. Little shorter. Um, dude, they're pretty accurate though, be honest. Uh, I'm not disappointed, the consistency of it is pretty nice. I'm gonna move a little closer, see if we can get a little bite on that thing. Okay, now I've got like a 50 yarder. I wanna see if I can really be aggressive, take a nice guy in there, stop that thing, maybe even get some backspin um, with this guy. Gotta clean those grooves, but whatever, here we go. Okay, no suck back, but uh, you can do it. It's gonna take some work though, man. You gotta, you gotta be pretty good, I think, with your wedges to pull something like this off. It is kind of fun though, I'll be honest with you. Um, let's go up there. I'll, I'll show you, I'll tell you what this is actually really probably best used for. Might be surprised, come on. Okay, what is this bad doggy uh, used for? What is it best for? I'm gonna tell you, um, here's the deal. It's like 25 bucks, so that's cool. Um, here's what I would do. Uh, I like it for it's just the fun aspect of it and seeing what you could do. It's, it's fun to goof around with this and things like this. If you have a buddy who thins it all the time, you might wanna get this for him or her as a gag gift. Might be funny, and if, uh, if you have a buddy or somebody that you know that plays with very little bounce, again, they might dig something like this for $25. It's a cool little gift for the golfer in your life. Could have some fun with it, but I would say it's best used for uh, those of you who like to do this because it's so flat. Um, you can do your all your trick shots with it or your bouncy stuff. It's pretty easy for that. I didn't have to look. Yeah, I do. Okay, that's what it's best for, right there. Just because it's so dang flat, it's like a spatula. Can you pick it up backwards? Boom, you're good to go. Uh, but uh, never once has a bouncy trick shot like this produced a birdie for me or helped me win a tournament. So uh, you'll have to figure that stuff out for yourself if this is you. Anyways, hope this video was uh, entertaining, beneficial, useful in some way, shape, or form. Having a little fun out there with the um, Pine Meadow. Pine Meadow, I rubbed the name off. Pine Meadow, last wedge. It's like 90 degrees, it's ridiculous. <laughs> 68, but it goes to 90. 68 to like 94. Love you guys, good luck out there. See you in the next video. on.